In our collab spaces, we used a DaVinci 2.0 Duo 3D printer from XYZ Printing and Tinkercad, a 3D design web software to design and print 3D objects. First, we will need to use Tinkercad to design our 3D object. Go to tinkercad.com and click on the sign up button to create an account. After creating your account, you can edit your profile, change your picture, nickname, and email address. Save changes and then click on the Tinkercad logo to go back to the dashboard. In the menu bar, you will find Features, a page where you can find a short tutorial of how to use the software and some of its features. The Learn page provides step-by-step -step lessons that will help you to master the software. The Gallery page showcases 3D designs from other Tinkercad users. Now for a quick basic tutorial on how to use the tool. First, you will need to click on Create New Design to start a project. You will be sent to the work plane. Here on the right, you can drag and drop objects into the work plane. To navigate around your object, you can use the arrows here. You can zoom in and out with the plus and minus buttons, and also with your mouse's scroll wheel. Now let's manipulate the object. You can click and hold your object to move it around. The small white box at the top is used to heighten your object, and the other white boxes at the bottom are used to adjust the size of your object. You will see the length and width of your object changing when you do this. The curved lines with arrows are used to rotate your object. You can see the number of degrees changing. And the small black cone is used to raise your object. Let's add another object to our work plane. You can connect objects, select them, and then manipulate both objects at the same time. You can undo any action by clicking here or pressing Command Z on your Mac keyboard. Now let's add holes to our object. Drag another object into the work plane and then click Hole here. Make the proper adjustments to the size and placement of the hole. Once you are done, select the object and the hole and click Group up here. Now your object contains a hole. You can also ungroup your object and hole by selecting them and clicking on Ungroup. You can also copy and paste on your Mac device by pressing Command C and Command V on your keyboard. When you are done with your 3D design, it is time to print. Your design will save automatically, but you can still do it manually by going to Design and clicking on Save. Next, we will need to download this design in the proper format, an STL file. Go to Design and click Download for 3D Printing. Choose the STL File button and your file should automatically download to your Downloads folder. Next, we will need to download the printer software. Type in this URL in a new tab. The URL is case sensitive. You can also find the link in the description below. Now click on Downloads. You will need to create an account to download the software. Click outside this window and proceed to sign up. When you are finished, you will click on the DaVinci 2.0 Duo and then download the appropriate software. Since we are a Mac school, we will need to scroll down and click on the latest Mac OS version. After it downloads, click on the DMG file and then drag the XYZWare icon into the Applications folder. Now you can open the software. So here's the XYZWare interface. It is important to first go to the Settings icon and make sure this box is clicked. We will want our objects to be imported with Auto Position. Next, click on Import, and then choose your file. On the left side is a menu where you can view your object in different perspectives. You can move the object and make sure your object is on the plane. You can rotate your object, resize it, and remove it from the plane. 
you can left click on your object to choose which color or extruder you would like to use for the print. Now it is ready to print. However, the DaVinci 2.0 Duo is capable of printing two colors in one print. To do this, you will need to download two files instead of one. If you want to print two colors, go back to Tinkercad and create two separate projects. Download both files and then import both into XYZWare. Make sure to adjust your objects appropriately. And then choose which extruders will be used for each file you imported. Connecting the objects will create one object when printed. Next, connect the 3D printer's USB to your computer. Make sure to add a good amount of special glue onto the bed of the printer. You could go to this URL or click on the link in the description below to see XYZ Printing's video on how to use the printer. Now you are ready to print. Click on the printer icon. When you see building on the printer's screen, you can now disconnect the USB from your computer. You will see the extruders heating up the filament and then see the time it will take for your print to be done. Now that it's done, use a damp tissue or cotton swab to wipe off the glue stuck to the seams between the object and the bed. And then use the scraper to remove the object.